Hey. Hey, how are you? Good. Um, we got to do announcements. Do you have any ideas? <sighs> no, but can you give me a few minutes because I need to finish up my grades. For, wait, what? For quarter one. I'm doing my grades for my students. Our grades are due soon. Yes, but keep in mind, don't freak out like last time. We don't want to have another incident. Do you remember? Yeah. Stressed at all. I'm just gonna go finish my grades. I'm almost done with mine. My grades are almost done. Mm. Yeah, some of us aren't that lucky, I guess. I'm a little stressed out right now. I freak out. It's a psychobilly freak out! running around like a maniac. Hey. Hey. Was that you that was freaking out? Yes. You all right? No. Why? Because the, the grades are due, like, hello? Uh, well, it's not like they're due today or anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> you want to go do the announcements? Let's go do the announcements. Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Happy Monday, everybody. This is Mrs. Potts, math teacher and one of the 10th grade mentors. Hey, out there in cyber world, it's Mr. Rieger, the 8th and 12th grade social studies teacher. Let's kick off our announcements with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, guess what is coming up soon? What is coming up Parent soon? Parent-teacher conferences. Best time of the year. Dead duck day for your students out there. Let me tell you. That's what my dad always used to call it. Dead duck day. Dead duck day. All right, parents. Parent-teacher conferences are coming up, and they will be held on the evening of November 14th and the day of November 16th. If you'd like to schedule a parent-teacher conference, we encourage you to check the school site using your parent login, and you can complete a survey, and in this survey you can schedule a time and just let us know when the best time for you to meet for a parent-teacher conference and how you'd like to meet as well. So just make sure you check out that information. Also keep in mind that an email was sent to your child so ask them about it because yep. the link is also in that email Call as well. Call them out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So students who are taking the Keystone, if you're taking an algebra class or um, you're just of that age, you will be taking the Keystones this year. Check out the main site for more information. Do you know what it is? When is it going to be held? Um, it's never too early to start preparing for these kinds of assessments, and it starts with you. Absolutely. Keep an eye out, everyone, for grade level assemblies as we close down quarter one this week and we move into quarter two, we will be having some awesome grade level assemblies. So keep an eye out on the main page in the announcements for when your grade level assembly will be. It is that time again, a field trip announcement. Yes! It's out east though, so. The heck. I know. And it sounds like a really cool one. If you want to go meet Mr. Conforti and Mr. Mills, they are going to be at the Great Valley Nature Center tomorrow. Nice. November 6th at 2 o'clock, where you will have the opportunity to meet with experts about birds such as hawks and owls and eagles, nice. and you can be part of a live broadcast with them. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I know. So it'll be a lot of fun. So check it out. Yep, definitely. All right, in sports news, the Eagles had a bye, so they had a rest week to try and come back and get a W for the eastern side of the state. Pittsburgh, though, traveled into the waterlogged New York Giants Stadium in the Meadowlands, in actually New Jersey, 
and pulled out a W that came back from behind in the fourth quarter. Defense really stepped up to stop the on-fire Eli Manning, which I thought was not going to happen because, as you know, Eli Manning is Mr. Comeback fourth quarter stud. So yeah. thank God the Steelers finally pulled out a W in good Steeler fashion. It was a good game. Borderline miracle. <laughs> so this week we have a couple more big matchups coming up, so check the announcements later on this week for some sports. I really wish we had some hockey news to put in there. I know, it is really sad. Really? Yeah. Wish we could talk about that. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, on another note, students and parents that are 18 years or older, tomorrow is election day. If you are not sure where you are registered to vote, check out the link below. It is really important to vote for our new president. Yeah, if a bare minimum, at least you can go out, cast your vote, and then celebrate the fact that you never have to listen to a political ad, at least for the next year or so yeah so that's fun I'm sick of one yeah about that. yeah you can finally put your phones back on the hook so you don't get those robo calls <laughs> asking the vote for you that's a good point all right we also just wanted to let you know that upcoming events uh, next Monday is Veterans Day so we're not gonna have school but that doesn't mean that we don't want to take some extra time here at Achievement House to thank our veterans for their time of service also on Wednesday and Friday in my class and Miss Asplin's 12th, or 12th grade global studies course, there we go. Yeah. Um, we're going to have guest speakers on Wednesday, so I am Friday. On Wednesday, we are going to have the acting uh, director of online communications at the Veterans Administration joining us, teaching us the best way to talk to a veteran. So if you see a veteran out in public, or if you have a family member who's a veteran and would like to kind of ask some questions, we're going to get a chance to meet with her and talk. Uh, she's going to be joining us live from Washington, D.C. And then on Friday, she'll be joining us again, along with two to three veterans who are in their 20s and 30s. And we're actually going to have an opportunity to meet and talk with some of those veterans about their experiences. We're going to break it down into three sections where we talk about their life before and their choice to enter the military, their life during their active service, and then life afterwards, what it was like when they came home from Iraq and Afghanistan. So if you're interested in meeting those people and coming to one of our live sessions, they are going to be held Wednesday at 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock, and also Friday at 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock, same times. There will also be recordings posted if you'd just like to see what it was like, if you'd like to take away any of that information. There will be links populated for those classes on the main page, so check it out on Wednesday. Well, I think you about said it all. Yeah, I think that's about good. <laughs> Don't forget to uh, check us out on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Have a good day, guys. Yeah.